Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Solution from here. From what is given, which is 6 over x times 6 over x equals to x over 6. Here, we have 6 times 6 here. We can also write it from when we have a times a, which is a square. This is same thing as 6 square over also x times x we have x square then equals to x over 6 and next step here we cross multiply and here we have 6 square times 6 equals to we have x times x square from here then from when we have a raised to power m then a raised to power n is same thing as a raised to power m plus n and here we have 6 raised to power 1 here we have x raised to power 1 and this becomes 6 raised to power 2 plus 1 equals to x raised to power 1 plus 2 which is same thing as 6 raised to power 3 equals to x raised to power 3 then here we can take everything to one side and when we rearrange here, we have x raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 now equals to 0 from here. Then this follows from when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into bracket, then open bracket a square plus a b plus b square. Then here, yeah, what we have here follows this, and we can write it as x minus 6 into bracket, then open bracket x square plus 6 times x, that is x plus 6 square, close bracket equals to 0 from here, which implies here we have x minus 6 into bracket the open bracket x square plus 6x plus 6 square here that's 36 close bracket equals to 0 here then we have two cases here the first one x minus 6 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 6x plus 36 equals to 0 then when we solve on this side, minus is comes here become plus. So we have x equals to 6 from here. Then on this side, we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 6, and c equals to 36. Now, here from the formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a then here we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 36 then over 2 times 1 then when we solve further from here this gives us x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 square here that's 36 that's 6 times 6 then minus we can still write this as 4 times 36 here then over 2 then so we for the here we have this as x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 is common here, so we have 36 into bracket here 1 minus 4 left, then over 2. And which implies we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 times minus 3 over 2 from here. And we can also separate this and we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus root 36 times root minus 3 which is root 3 times root minus 1 then over 2 from here 
that is here we have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus root 36 that's 6 then root 3 high min, root minus 1 is high then over 2 that is here 2 is common from what we have then we have x equals to 2 outside the minus 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 high then over 2 from here and 2 cancel each other so we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 high from here so here we have two complex solutions from here so all together we have three solutions and the first one x1 equals to 6 then we have x2 from here equals to minus 3 plus 3 root 3 i then we have x3 also from there we have minus 3 minus 3 root 3 high so all together here we have three solutions we have one real solution and two complex solutions now when we check from what we have substituting the first value of x which is 6 into this equation now that is when x equals to 6 what we have here becomes 6 over 6 times 6 over 6 is equals to 6 over 6 and when we look at this from here 6 over 6 here same thing as 1 then times also 6 over 6 here as 1 is equals to this side also 6 over 6 is 1 then 1 times 1 of course is 1 which is equals to 1 now left hand side equals to right hand side then we conclude that x equals to 6 satisfies the given problem and also the other complex solutions too we also satisfy when we check and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos turn on the notification bell if you have a comment put it in the comment section and thank you see you next class and bye for now